all got this blanket for free. My brother was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Highly sought after. Buyer paid 190 plus shipping on eBay. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about unexpected and big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for, and what it sold for. So my channel is all about things to be on the lookout for. That's what a bolo is. And it is geared towards resellers. So if you are a reseller, you are in the right place. If you want to share your big money bolo, down in the description, there is a link to my Facebook group. And just come on over and go to the featured section and look for the post that looks like this. And whatever month you come in, that's what it's going to say. I just switch it up every month and share your bolo. Make sure you shout out your social media if you're on YouTube, whatnot, what platforms you sell on. And if you put it in the comment, I will mention it in the video. So let's get started here with the first bolo. She said, I purchased this six piece set of Williams Sonoma B coffee cups at the Goodwill. I paid 50 cents a piece for them, listed them for 115. They sold in eight days on an offer to a watcher for 103 on eBay. Store name is Katie's Corner 1203. Thank you, Courtney, for all you do. I've learned so much from watching your channel. Thank you so much for sharing. And I would not pick this up because I would not want to ship it. But these are absolutely adorable. If I bought something like this, what I would do is I would sell them individually in a quantity. That way I only had to ship one mug at a time. So if you're like me and you hate breakables and the sets scare you, she picked these up for 50 cents each. So she could have did where she did separate. Uh, she parted it out. Why can't I say parted? <laughs> she, she decided to part it out. There we go. I'm trying to like make it past tense and it just doesn't work. I guess it could go in my Bolo Buddies dictionary as a word fail. All right, let's go on to the next one here. This is an Animal Alley Jumbo Darby Puppy Dog from 2000. Um, you could put Y2K in the title maybe, right? Found this at a Goodwill for $9.75. Took a while to sell, but sold for full asking price of $124.99 plus shipping. And this item went internationally. The next one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty. And if you are not following her, oh my goodness, you gotta be over on Whatnot. She finds the most amazing vintage jewelry ever. Okay, you gotta check her out. So I do have a referral link down below to join Whatnot. You'll get $15 to shop. I also got my hat from Seems So Vintage, who is on Whatnot, and she sells these in her buy it now. She makes these hats and puts these awesome buttons on it, and her craftsmanship is incredible. So make sure you're following Cat Feeling Thrifty and Seems So Vintage over on Whatnot and on Bolo Buddies over there, and use that referral link to get $15 to shop, and you can save some money and have some fun in the chat with us. Um Cat Feeling Thrifty is on Monday and Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So check her out. And Seem So Vintage is on at different times and sells different things. So you will definitely enjoy her show. She has a great personality. And Cat Feeling Thrifty likes to snort when she laughs. So great entertainment there as well. She picked this up at a yard sale last fall. She said, I believe she, I only paid a dollar, I'm sorry, $5 for it. Weird sells, as Farm Girl Scavenger says. Sold for, sold for 30 during a store sale plus shipping. As always, thanks, Courtney, for all you do. So Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle is a big money bolo finder. If you are not following her on YouTube, you need to definitely follow her. She is incredible, but she is very known for saying buy the weird, sell the weird. And um, so that's what Kat was referencing. But this is a Catwoman Lady Jester face. It's just a plaster wall hanging. Very cool piece. This also comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty. She picked this up in an estate sale in Phoenix, Arizona for 10. Sold it um, on best offer for 50 plus shipping. She said Halloween seems to sell well. It is a Tumbling Witches figurines Fitz and Floyd. And Fitz and Floyd is also a great brand. Definitely look it up. If you do... Um, an eBay search solds high to low on Fitz and Floyd. That'll give you a great idea of different ones to be on the lookout for. 
This is a vintage Austria glass cherries pin brooch molded glass leaves rhinestone. She said purchased at an estate sale for $3, sold internationally for 85 plus shipping. These are hot little brooches made in Austria. How gorgeous is that? Amazing, right? This one is a Bucilla Frosty Couple Snowman Christmas Mail Bag Wall Hanging Kit. Mail bag? Hmm. Oh, you put your mail in it. How cute is that? Oh, love it. Okay, so let me just tell you, cross-stitch kits range from bread and butter to big money. And if I, I know I have a video on cross-stitch kits, so definitely check that out. It is an older video, so I would kind of maybe look at more recent solds, but the stockings typically do well. Um, there are certain ones that are definitely a bolo. So do your research, look for certain brands, and they can sell for big money. Found this fun craft at an estate sale last fall. It was the last day, so I was told just make a pile. She gave a huge pile of stuff for $5. This was pennies. I put it at 25 cents in my inventory. Took a best offer of $17.50. Buyer paid shipping, eBay store, Dieter's attic. All right, there you go. So this one is not a huge money bolo. However, I probably would have priced that higher and waited until closer to Christmas. Um, again, I haven't done any research on this item, but I've never seen anything like it before. So looks pretty cool to me. I definitely would have picked it up for a quarter. The next one is this uh, vintage Fenton nine baby chick and on nest hen dish cobalt blue basket weave candy trinket. Uh, this is also Dieter's attic. She said, still selling items from my mother-in-law's house. We currently have her living with us so we can care for her. This has Always been one of my favorite pieces that sat in the back bedroom. Took a best offer of 65, had it listed for quite a while, so was happy with an offer. And again, she said it was a long tail item. It's a really beautiful color. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This one comes from Piece of Scrap on YouTube and eBay Poshmark. Rose vintage sweater, daisy floral, sparkle silver metallic usa acrylic 80s knit this is a vintage sweater these things sell guys and they sell for money so if it's a little different and a little old you might want to consider picking it up even if you can't find comps price it high and wait for the right buyer paid three dollars and 75 cents at a thrift store sold for 81 shipped on ebay there you have it that is i think that's really pretty i love those colors these are the 1988, the California Raisins PVC toys. And I have sold these before, but these are the graduation guys. I don't think I've ever seen these. She said, wow, one hour and 23 minutes. That's how long it was listed. Sold for full asking price of $43.97. Stopped at a barn sale, paid a dollar for all three. Makes me wonder if I listed, listed too low, but there were others listed for lower. So I'm very happy with an awesome turnaround. Yeah, isn't it weird when things that are the same are listed lower in your cells. You wonder why that happens, right? Is it good photos? I mean, she has great photos. Did it just happen to pop up in the algorithm and the person just didn't want to do their research and look for something cheaper? Why do you guys think that happens? I mean, it's fabulous that it does, right? Especially if you are the higher price person. That one was Dieter's Attic also. All right, Bolo Buddies. Now Nina's Jewels is going to share a Bolo with us called This Is My Bolo. And if you guys want to share a bolo in a 60 second video like this, just send it to me on Facebook or Instagram Messenger and I will feature it in one of my videos. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Wendy and this is my bolo. We recently picked up this Detroit Rock City Blu-ray for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold immediately for $71.98. Not all DVDs and Blu-rays are worth picking up. In fact, most of them are not at all. But when we see Blu-rays or unusual titles that are DVDs, we will search them. And there's a super easy way to do that using the eBay barcode scanner. You just click on the search bar in the eBay app, 
there is a camera in that search bar. You click on that and it will open up the barcode scanner and you can just hover that over the barcode on any item, including DVDs, and it will search items that are listed with that UPC. You can find Nina's Jewels on YouTube at Nina's Jewels. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at Nina's Jewels LLC. And you can also find us on Whatnot at Nina's Jewels. And we will catch you guys on the flip side. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mirage Studios Playmates Toy Raphael 1992. This guy is jointed. She said a lady in the town nearby post posted free vintage kids clothing items on her porch. Uh, pick up. Uh, I had picked up some plush from her previously. So this time around, she asked me if I wanted some stuffed animals also. Free, of course. So she accepted. She said, lucky for me, this was hiding in the bag. A 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figurine. This thing was large and jointed. I had never seen anything like it. I cross-posted and accepted an offer on Mercari for 40 plus shipping from free to 40. I'll take it. Sold within a day or two of listing. Jiffy Thrifty on Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. All right, you guys. So this was cross-posted, sold fastest on Mercari. Mercari has no selling fees now, guys. No selling fees on Mercari. I have a link down below. You can join Mercari with that. Get $10 to shop. It is my referral link and then get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So check that out if you want to join Mercari. It's no selling fees. So she got the $40. She got the whole $40. There is a processing fee too. I think it's $2 to get your money out. So just let it build up a little bit and then it doesn't seem so big. I mean, if you sell something for $15 and you want to transfer that money and there's a $2 processing fee, that's going to kind of be silly. I would wait until you have a little more money in there so it doesn't feel like such a big hit, but you are not paying any selling fees. So I offer free shipping on Mercari and that's a good way to um, also offset some of the fees that the buyers are now going to be taking because there are no seller fees. And I use List Perfectly to cross post. I start my items on, I, you know what? I just lied. I'm so used to saying that. I did. I used to start my items on eBay and then I would cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, but I recently changed it and I just did a video about it and I'm getting all of my eBay listings into the List Perfectly catalog. I've been on List Perfectly since 2019. I've been on the business plan and they have some new features that are really, really fabulous. And I'm like, Courtney, you are doing this. So I am refreshing my entire eBay store as I go through the process of getting my items into the list perfectly catalog. And it's motivating me to list new items at the same time with the new AI feature they have, which, oh my goodness, you got to check out the videos. I'm going to post both of them down below. So number one, I'm going to show you how you can list way faster. And I'm also going to show you how I'm doing a complete refresh of my eBay store, which is hopefully going to generate more sales across all platforms. So check out those videos. I do have a referral link for List Perfectly. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies and the link below. But watch those videos first and check out the new features and be ready to have your mind like, oh my goodness, what is happening here? I can't believe I'm not using this, all right? So I'll post those videos down below. And if I forget to post those videos down below, please remind me in the comments because huh, I might. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, this one here says, first time posting here. Big fan of your YouTube channel. Got this blanket for free. My brother was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Highly sought after. Buyer paid 190 plus shipping on eBay. So she got it from her brother. So free. That's awesome. Rachel Ashwell Cottage Simply Shabby Chic Plush Blanket Satin Ruffle Roses. That is the brand. Simply Shabby Chic. Isn't there a thing where you can't use the word Shabby Chic? Is this why? Because there's actually a brand? Huh. That could be, right? Look at that. $190 for that blanket. That's incredible. Keep that one in mind, guys. Carhartt Canyon Sandstone Jacket. I always say Shepra, and it's Sherpa. Sherpa? I... <laughs> you guys always correct me. Is it Sherpa? 
I like Sh Shepra just sounds better, guys. Sherpa sounds like Sherpa. <laughs> I like Shepra. All right. Well, whatever. It's the fuzzy stuff on the inside of the coat. All right. Right there. And usually things that have this on the inside do well. Uh, there are also the Patagonia coats. Is it Patagonia? The vintage ones. I think they're made of this same thing and they do well. So definitely be on the lookout. This is a women's 2X Carhartt. Um, sold for 130 on the 15th, sold within 17 hours of listing, had it priced at 140, got on June 7th for eight at an estate sale, mostly older stuff in the house. The person has it one to two times a year and it was the third time going. Oh, that's awesome. Don't you love it when um, you know that it's a sale you've been to before and it was good? Love it. This one here is a Talbot's and Miracle suit ass Ashbury <laughs> one piece swimsuit. And there it is. Uh, that's what it still uh, has the original uh, panty liner in it. There it is. Talbot's and Miracle suit, 174 retail. Uh, sold this new with tags, 174 swimsuit. 85 was priced at 95. So took $10 off, paid only $2 and 50 cents, got it last year. So it took a while to sell, but that's okay. Since it didn't, didn't pay much and doesn't take much space to store List it and forget it. Just wait on the right buyer. This is a cat. This was sold by nooks, crannies and irresistible. She purchased at her neighbor's yard sale. Toys were a dollar each. She said, I steamed and brushed the fur, added new batteries along with a video to show it working. After doing research, I followed an example of another sold and listed this as an interactive robotic senior companion. Oh, senior companion. Hmm. It sold quickly for full asking of 5206 plus shipping all in 7625. Glad it went to a good new home. Thank you, Courtney, for all you do to help teach us. I always look forward to watching your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks for always sharing. You have great bolos. And um, there it is. She did a great job of really getting that hair um, looking good. I have a video where I show you guys how to use a dog brush to uh, fluff up your plush. And I learned that from Donatella Bottolino. Uh, she has a YouTube channel as well. And she is also on Whatnot. So check her out. And if you guys are not on Whatnot, I do have a link down below where you can get $15 to shop. Seems so vintage. Go follow her. I know I already mentioned this, but check out this hat. And then I also have this one that has the little owls. It's so cute. Anyway, you got to go grab one. Scoop one up because she's amazing. And uh, she can make whatever color, put whatever you want on them. Just message her if you want something custom. If uh, the ones that she has already made are not a good fit for you because she can make what you want. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. I think I'm going to get maybe teal next. I think I want teal. What do you guys think? Teal? Let me know what color I should get next. All right. Thanks for watching.